Louis Dreyfus plays Eva, who is a masseuse, and uh, massages Catherine Keener, um, who and plays starts, Marianne. who plays Marianne, and James Gandolfini, who tragically is not here, uh, begins dating Eva. Eva begins dating him. They start to fall in love. Some guy you met at the party wants your number. Hi. Hi. Oh, did I get the day wrong? No. Why? Because you're wearing your pajamas? It's Sunday. I'd like to be comfortable. Oh, good. Eva has a daughter, Ellen, played by Tracy Faraway. And Catherine has a daughter named um, Tess. Tess. Thank you. It's been a while. <laughs> played by Eve Hewson. And Tracy's best friend, I mean, Ellen's best friend is Chloe, played by Tavi Gevinson. And it's all just a big mess. <laughs> Jim and I have her as a daughter and you and... My ex-husband. Yes. <laughs> He's not here, Toby Huss. I wasn't going to say that she was your... Right, we know that she's her daughter, but not until later. I wasn't going to give it away, but... Oh, no, oh spoiler alert. Sorry. It's okay, it's given away everywhere. Yeah. She's like a human trip advisor. Albert is not a hotel. If you could avoid staying at a bad one, wouldn't you? Oh, my God. And, Julia, I imagine you had to shift gears dramatically from playing Selena on Veep. Yes, it is a shift of gears, but a, a, a joyful one. It was fun, too, because I got to flex some dramatic muscle in the film, which was a, a, a great, uh, happy experience. And it's a really raw, emotional journey that this film takes, and this is all due to Nicole's uh, exquisite writing and direction. I guess we should develop hobbies. Especially I weave. Like baskets? Yeah, I do it in the garage. Really? No. <laughs> Could you talk about James Gandolfini in this movie? I, I think you said he wasn't sure he could bring off this romantic character, but, but you all were convinced of it? James uh, plays this character of Albert who's exceptionally dear and kind and thoughtful and self-effacing and very gentle. And in fact, this is very close to who Jim himself uh, was and um, not something that he was particularly comfortable playing. Um, and there was an enormous amount of vulnerability that uh, he brought to bear to this part. And, uh, but he did keep saying to uh, Nicole, you know, if you want to recast, if you don't think I'm right, you know, I understand. He was not, he didn't feel deserving of the part, which frankly made him that much more lovable. I thought more fall in lovable. He just wanted us to keep telling him we how sexy he was. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.